We're back. Thanks for joining me for the New Year's edition of the 401k Owner's Manual. If you're like most people I know, you're now getting back to the routine of life. And some of you may have even made some New Year's resolutions to do things differently. For those of you making the bold attempt once again to try to make sense of your 401k options, and even for those of you who think it's a waste of time, this episode is for you. One of the things I do for myself and my listeners is I set up alerts on Google for 401k topics. It's a real time saver because it frees me from running searches or just surfing around the net hoping to find news and developments in the 401k industry. I no longer need to depend on the mainstream financial media scanning countless headlines promoting quote-unquote breaking news stories which never provide actionable information. Some of the headlines crossing the tape while I'm recording this are why the U.S. tax bonanza may be tapped out. Has Google lost its genius? Bank of America agrees to a $10 billion settlement for mortgage claims. Stocks lower, S&P eases from five-year high. Is your credit score hurting your love life? Come on, is any of that relevant or actionable? While the information age has been a boon for all of us, it has a downside. Information overload. If everything is important, then nothing is more important than anything else. It makes it impossible to make sense of anything because the default mode of thinking in the face of overwhelming information is to ignore all of it. The consequence of this default mode of thinking is it creates a defeatist victim mentality. My 401k sucks. The market is rigged. Wall Street is for suckers. I'll never be able to retire. The truth is, All these statements are true if you allow yourself to drift along with whatever direction the market is moving, believe what Wall Street says versus what Wall Street does, and believe that automatic enrollment in a target date fund will save you. The benefit of setting up Google Alerts for me is it gives me assurance that Google is delivering all the relevant information I need. Not because all of it is important but because it gives me a set of data to filter for what is important. This appeals to me because it's exactly what we do in our business. For those of you who are familiar with the 401k owner's manual, the principles we discuss are focused on measuring what is, taking the available relevant information in the market and using that information to make better 401k investment decisions, and recognizing the only constant in the market is change We monitor all available investment alternatives to make new, better investment decisions in the future. I'm sure many of you went to holiday parties this season. What would you think if someone walked into one of those parties and on cue, the ten bodyguards circling this guest turned in unison to face him, pointed, and shouted, Hey, there's Ed Bagadouche. What a great guy. You'd probably roll your eyes laughing, turn to your friends and say, perfect name. Yet why is it we really want to believe this situation when we're focused on our 401k? Google Alerts delivered up an article on the marketwatch.com website titled 10 things your 401k plan won't tell you. It was a good read. The basic message being you're on your own but we won't tell you so. Your company and the plan provider they have hired to deliver the platform for you to save and invest for retirement is no different than Ed Bagadouche snapping his fingers to cue his bodyguards to announce his greatness. But unlike the party setting, you have been isolated because it's a well-known fact that most people are uncomfortable talking about their money. So why do we really want to believe Ed Bagadouche, the 401k provider? Because we don't know what else to do. We feel helpless because there is an information overload around the investment choices available, and in the process we believe there's nothing to do but ignore it all, or make decisions based on the drama created by mainstream media, which is typically the wrong move to make. So what can you do? That's easy. Give yourself the gift of a few moments a day or even a week to measure the price movement of your 401k investment choices. I was trading emails with one of our listeners over the holidays and he said, I'm loving watching all the political intrigue and just tracking the numbers. It really removes so much of the emotion and panic I see around me. 
It was a good day, the day I found your blog. If you missed how to track the numbers, check out episode 10 on iTunes or the YouTube video titled How to Make the Most of Your 401k Options on the 401k Owner's Manual YouTube channel. You'll find easy instructions to do it yourself for free. I was listening to one of the podcasts I subscribed to over the weekend, Social Triggers Insider, about marketing, psychology, and business, with Derek Halpern interviewing Daniel Pink, two guys who value research. And Daniel mentioned, in today's information age, we have moved from let the buyer beware to let the seller beware, because buyers have access to information and have a voice they didn't have 10, 20, or 30 years ago. The point being, in most industries, being ethical is no longer a nicety. It's become a necessity because buyers won't tolerate poor quality, poor service, and poor performance. This is especially true in the information age where buyers have as much, if not more, product knowledge than a salesman. It's just too easy to jump on Facebook or Twitter or any number of websites and voice your displeasure. But so far, your 401k provider is continuing to resist mightily. Transparency in 401k plans is clouded by information overload and self-serving, quote-unquote, education materials. We can help you focus on what is relevant. If you're drowning in the sea of information overload, here's what you can do now. Join the 401k Owner's Manual Facebook fan page by clicking like, ask a question, or just browse around. If you don't want to do it yourself, get in touch. We have a done-for-you service using a logical, organized, systematic method you can easily understand. Here's to your success. Thanks so much. Until next time, I'm George Huss, and this is the 401k Owner's Manual. Happy New Year.